Hello everyone, today I'm going to do a review on the Panasonic NCR 18650B uh, lithium ion battery, rechargeable batteries. I uh, actually bought two of these from uh, Amazon and they came in at uh, 1649 for two 18650 batteries. They're, there's how they came shipped in little boxes, little generic boxes. Uh, first thing I was concerned about is uh, authenticity are these forgeries are they uh, counterfeits are they actual uh, cells so uh, I've got all the specs here from Panasonic for the uh, actual battery itself so we'll start with that now uh, first thing I'm going to do is check the weight and as you can see here the weight should be 47.5 uh, grams that's the max now the reason they say max is because they're actually uh, you know checking the I, I believe the bare weight of the battery uh, so basically uh, without any of the tubing around it or anything like that but we'll see here anyways here's the actual battery itself what it looks like and it says an NCR 16 uh, 18650B um, they put a sticker on it themselves but uh, it looks correct and uh, so but let's let's check the weight of it first so turn on my little scale here all right, not sure whether you can see that or not. Let me back that up a little bit more so get some better light there. Okay, so I'm gonna put the battery on it, see what we get for grams. And it is in the wrong units. So we're going to grams. And it says 46 grams, which is within the maximum weight for that battery. Let's check the other one. You know, like I said, this is a a food scale so it's not you know the most accurate thing in the world but the other one's 46 grams as well so both batteries come in at uh, more or less the right weight so pass the first test and one gram short of the maximum weight so the next thing we're, I'm gonna do is uh, measure them to see what their outside dimensions are like and it says the diameter here should be 18.25 uh, maximum size without tube well I'm not sure what they mean by that but we'll see what the size is here so zero my little okay we're zeroed and diameter should be 18 point well it's 18.37 here uh, and the dimensions this is max without tube is 18.25 well I'm thinking the uh, film around the outside of the uh, battery adds a little bit so we're within what I would call a tolerance of it the height is 65.7 now if you're using the calipers to do this understand that if you short the top and the bottom of the battery you will short the battery out and you can cause a fire so don't do that I'm gonna be very careful to just put it on the insulation and be very light on it so I got 65 point well 65 millimeters and the actual size should be maximum uh, 65.10 so again within uh, one tenth of a millimeter I'm uh, happy with that I don't want to go to the top or the head of the battery because it was short and I don't want to short the battery so uh, we have two batteries NCR 16550s 18650 sorry and they look legit um, the weight and size uh, of them is into you know co corresponds to the Panasonic spec. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is test them for um, what their capacity is. Now you'll notice here on the spec sheet. Let me zoom in a little bit. That rated capacity is minimum 3,200 milliamp hours, and nominal capacity is 3,250 uh, milliamp hours. Uh, and it says typically 33 uh, 500 milliamp hours nominal nominal vo voltage 3.6 um, again they're supposed to be 3400 milliamp hours that's what they're advertised at so I'm just gonna do the uh, test on them see what happens and notice that the sticker says 3.7 uh, volts so uh, I don't know if that 0.7 uh, 0.1 volts is what puts it over the top I'll show you that there's where it's what it says on it uh, but that's just a sticker that the manufacturer put on uh, the real key is here now it says made in Japan again the Chinese are really good at uh, forging the, you know, these things counterfeiting them so I'm gonna do the 
uh, test on them and if they pass then I'll put the link on my description where you can get these uh, batteries from Amazon from the same seller I bought them from. So let's test them out for capacity. I'm going to use my Nikkor IntelliCharger i4. This is the version 2 to charge these two batteries up and uh, basically see how much they actually uh, take and after they are done charging up I'm going to use the um, I'm having a bit of an issue getting a voltage on that one, so let me... There we go. Uh, I'm going to use my uh, IMAX B6 uh, uh, LiPro balance charger to check what the actual output of those um, batteries is and as far as milliamp hours goes. And as you can see, uh, they were shipped with some sort of charge to them because this one's already on uh, halfway charging. And, uh, you know, that's what they call a storage charge, so uh, that's normal. After they're done charging here, I will uh, do a uh, time-lapse test on the actual um, IMAX B6 LiPro balance charger to see how many milliamp hours they get. Okay, I got both these batteries fully charged. The NCR 18650Bs from Panasonic on my Nightcore. Uh, IntelliCharger i4. So next I'm going to put them on the LiPro balance charger or one of them and I'm going to discharge them and see how much uh, milliamp hours I get out of it. Okay I'm going to discharge this NCR 18650B the Panasonic at uh, 1 amp 3.7 volts on my uh, LiPro charger here. Let me uh, get that into focus correctly here. There we go and I will put it on uh, time lapse just to make this uh, much quicker. Lipro discharge, 1 amp, 3 volts. Um, let me check the bottom, the minimum rating on that battery. Okay, I'm going with a default, so let's start this process here. And we're going to go to uh, time lapse. Okay, there's the discharging all the way to uh, 2.98 volts. Uh, we got 3,253 milliamp hours, which is, uh, I would have to say, near perfect in the uh, minimum amount of uh, storage capability. Uh, understand, though, that it would have probably gone to 3,400 had we gone all the way down to 2.5 volts, which is the minimum uh, voltage, uh, which this battery should go down to. Now uh, my charger didn't take it all the way down to that. It took it down to 2.98 which is fine with me. Uh, basically this verifies that it is a 3400 milliamp uh, uh, battery and uh, I will post the link to the seller of this battery on Amazon in the description and you know like I said if you look at the specs uh, over here you can see them um, you'll see that typically it says it's 3350 milliamp hours. The minimum is 3250 milliamp hours. So, you know, we're there. So this battery's uh, basically giving me exactly what it should have given me. Uh, had it drained it all the way down to 2.5, I'm sure I would have hit more than 3400 milliamps. But I don't like to take things to their maximum ranges. So uh, at this point, I'd have to say this is a great battery. Uh, 3400 milliamp hours it will give you all that power and uh, you know again I recommend this battery by the way this is an unprotected battery so there's no protection circuitry in it whatever you're going to put it into make sure that it, it can handle an unprotected battery in other words it has protection circuit that the the device you're putting it into has a protection has protection cir circuitry built into it because otherwise you, you may overdrain this battery or you may overcharge this battery depending on uh, how you charge it and uh, what kind of equipment you use to do both. That's it for my video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this video and it helped you out in some way, do me a favor, click on the like button right down here. And uh, you know, if you wish to subscribe to my channel, just click on this link up here. And that should subscribe you to the, the uh, Richard Lloyd channel or Richard Lloyd USA channel. Um, Okay, again, thank you very much for your time and watching.